Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on occupancy reports and booking statistic reports. Newbook has a large suite of reports, but today we're going to focus on some of the most common reports used to gauge information surrounding occupancy statistics and other helpful booking related information. The first report we're going to take a look at today is our occupancy report. This will tell us exactly what our current occupancy at the time of running the report is. We have our date options in the top left and our output options on the top right if we need to print or export. Underneath, we then have some filters to adjust how we want to group the occupancy details at our property and what information we should include or exclude. There are five main grouping options to view the report under. The first one we're looking at is the category of accommodation. So if we run the report, you can see it will display two tables, one regarding occupancy and booking information such as total bookings, total nights, average daily rate, etc. In the bottom table, it is looking at projected earnings based on the current occupancy. Please note that this report is subject to change if running for future dates. This is due to new bookings still being made and existing bookings potentially being modified or cancelled. This report should not be used for financial purposes. You can see that it's grouping the statistics by each specific type of accommodation or category of accommodation that you sell. If we want to run the report and group similar styles of accommodation together, we could then run this report with the category type option. Once we run this again, we can see that it groups the reporting by type instead. For those of you who want to drill deeper into the reporting statistics, you can run this at a site level as well. And this will allow you to drill down into each specific room or site that you have to locate the itemized occupancy details. If you're wanting to just gather an overall gauge at your property's occupancy, you can then run this report and the instance option. We also have a fifth option available called level. This is great for clients that potentially have their accommodation within buildings and they have various floors or levels that they have their different rooms on. Essentially, if you want to use this, you need to set your levels up and set them up within each site and then you'll be able to run this report to view it per level or per floor. The second report that we're going to take a look at is our rate type occupancy report. This will essentially give us a lot of similar occupancy information as the occupancy report. However, it allows us an additional way to view this information by rate type. This report will also include bookings that are potentially set to no billing and that are also on a repeat charge. Prior to running this, also take a look at some of the report options in terms of how you would like to group this particular information. The third report I'd like to run through is great for those of you who are looking for a report that will give you a predicted forecast on what pickup you can expect to bring in over the next few months based on historical information and based on bookings placed up until a specific date that you select. Before running the PACE report, ensure you select the date that you would like to have a look at for current information. We then have these period two and period three sections that we can enable where it will give comparative information against. When you run the report, you will then see in the top the different categories of accommodation. You'll see the first two periods and the variance between each and then also the third period and the variance between those as well. It does have a large amount of information displaying on this report such as rev par and rev poor, occupied nights, occupancy. It's also looking at revenue and then the actual revenue pickup and that does include net and gross figures. It also has your average daily rate and even your average lead time for how long from a guest making a booking until they're actually checking in. There is a drop down at the top which will also allow you to view all categories of accommodation or just view your grand total across your property. This is something that is controlled within the report settings down below where it says enable grouping selection. Again, prior to running this, you have the ability to take a look at some of the filters in the report to ensure you're viewing the information that you would like to see. The next report we're going to take a look at is our bookings staying report. This is a great report to run if you're interested in seeing guests that are actually staying during a particular time of the year and if you want to run the information in various grouping options. So at the minute I could run this report for the current year and group it by the booking source to see where my bookings have actually been made from. Once I run that report you'll be able to see all of the sources listed in my system where I've registered them against a booking. If I'd like to look into that even further, I could even subgroup that information. So on the right, I might say, I wanna group it by the actual category of accommodation that they've booked. 
When I rerun that report, you'll then be able to see that it splits it out by the source and then the actual styles of accommodation that they've booked. If we click in the group by options again, I could even drill further down and look at the rate type and then the category as the subgrouping option. Once we run again, you can see it's looking at the same statistics, but giving you different grouping options and different tallied totals so that you can identify you know, where your bookings are coming from, what rate's most popular when guests are booking. There's an advanced option in here as well, which allows you to further refine this report quite a lot. So you can filter specific booking statuses, specific rate types that have been filtered or selected on bookings, categories of accommodation. On the left, you have a various amount of marketing fields that you can also refine. Cancellation reasons, if you're looking at canceled bookings during those dates. There's also some helpful settings in terms of whether or not you want to include accommodation revenue only, or if you'd like to include various inventory items that potentially have been added on to booking stays. On the right, there's also a setting as to whether or not you'd like to include the cancel booking revenue information on this report as well. Some of the fields that will display on this report are information such as total bookings, out of those, how many are active, how many nights have actually been booked and the total occupants. We can see projected revenue, amount of cancelled reservations, average revenue per night, average length and average revenue per booking. Bear in mind on any of these reports as well, if you want to potentially add or remove columns, click into the options button in the top right corner and select column configuration if it's available and it will allow you to then adjust the report to hide or show various columns that are relative to your reporting needs. The next report we're taking a look at is called our bookings place report. Now this is identical to our bookings staying report in terms of the filter options and the report settings. However, it's looking at a different reporting statistic. It's looking at when bookings have actually been saved in your new book system. So they might be staying next year, but they made the booking today. It's going to tell you how many bookings are coming in during the date range that you're reporting on. Again, you've got those group by options and subgroup by options to further refine the actual reporting statistics that you're looking at and the advanced button to add in extra filters to reduce what it is that you want to actually report on. The next two reports I'd like to go through are our travel agents report and our company's report. The travel agent report is going to be helpful for any property that is essentially connecting to any online channel and you've got travel agents set up in the system to track the amount of commissions that you give away to each agent. This report can also be helpful for properties that don't necessarily connect to them online but may make direct travel agent bookings over the phone and are adding the travel agent information at a booking level. We can run the report in a summary mode, which will just show us the totals of bookings and things per agent, or we can get a detailed list of those bookings if we pop it into the list mode. If we have a look at the report for the current year, you'll be able to see in the summary mode, it shows the agents on the left, total bookings, the commissionable revenue amount, how much actual commission was calculated, and how much was raised. We then have other information such as the average stay duration, booking percentage, nights booked, and the occupants. If we run that in list mode, you'll then be able to see the actual bookings that make up those travel agent stays. This report also has an advanced option, again, where you can filter to look at specific travel agents or booking statuses. It will also allow you to refine whether or not you want to utilize the full stay duration of a booking, or if you're looking at a specific date range, if you only want the revenue incorporated into those evenings to display, it'll only show those nights. We've also got the accommodation revenue only feature here as well. So if you've got any travel agent bookings with extra items, you can choose whether or not you want them to be contributed to the total revenue displaying on these reports. Lastly, on this one, there is a filter by, which looks at when the bookings were actually made, when they're staying, due for check-in, check-out, or when we've actually credited them with the commission that we owe them. The company's report is great for businesses that have guests that travel for work and you want to register the company name against the booking and track how many stays that they have. Maybe you potentially send invoices for payment to those companies. If we run the company's report again for the year, we have the same options as we do on the travel agent report to view it in a summary or list mode. 
We've also got some advanced options here to filter the specific company we want to look at, whether it was booked during a particular date range, staying or arriving or departing during a particular period. And we've also got the useful stay duration setting as well. If we run this one, you'll be able to see all the company bookings. Out of those, how many were placed, how many were cancelled, what the total cost was, average stay and the booking percentage. With all of the reports I've shown you today and any other reports that we have in our system, bear in mind that they can be automated by a feature called our scheduled reports. So if there is any particular one of these that you would like to receive automatically on a daily, weekly, quarterly, yearly increment, you can schedule these to send to you automatically. Simply head to scheduled reports, add scheduled report. You'll then see a full menu of each report available search and select the one you're after and then you can select the increment you'd like to receive it in, the format or output you would like to receive it in, when you want it to start sending and how often. At the bottom of the page you'll also have an address book section which will allow you to select multiple users that you would like to schedule to send this through to. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on occupancy statistic reports and booking statistic reports. If you do have any questions surrounding any of these reports, remember to click into the question mark icon in the top right corner of each page. That will then show you helpful recommended articles pertaining to the report that you're currently viewing or the feature that you're on.